Ford Top Duel. We'll have Funny Car first round later this evening. All right, we'll get the code set up again, get the timing system back in operation. Next up, John Durden from San Juan, Bethesda, California. And he has a 59 Corvette. Eric Peterson at Pacific Washington. He's the number eight qualifier in the Pro Mod for a 51 Chevrolet. He's got a 526 Hemi, as does Gert in the 59 Corvette. If you can see how they go, I'll tell you what, this Chevrolet is wild. I mean, we expect some of the Pro Mod and Corvettes to look swoopy and stuff, but you really got to take a look at this 51 Chevrolet. Sweeping, set the cones in, in place, and we'll be on with their qualifying round in just a moment. I'll run about that. On with Mike English, Steve Obama, Ward, and other Johnny Cones. What time, what time? Again, if you got friends at home that couldn't make it, tell them to get on their computer, go to dragwaves.com. Celebrity sighting here. We got Jack Beckman coming up in the stands with us. He's going to sit these guys in front of him. We're friends of his. I don't know how many guys are right now. I can't say. I had to zoom back so I can see the track. And uh, let me know later today if if this is too zoomed out. I'm going to have to go back to my regular uh, Facebook Live app. I'm on a separate one and I can't zoom in close enough for my uh, you know likes. But uh, if you guys would like, I'll go back to that. If it's too far away, let me know after this. And uh, what, well, what, I, what else I might ask is uh, if you would, uh, if you're a member of some of the groups, uh, Nitro Heads, Altered, Fuel Altered Connection, uh, if you would share that, my feed, if I do it, end up doing it on my page, if you'd share it to a group, then it'll show up that way. I don't have to use this multi-app, multi-page, sharing app i could just people on the different on my friends list uh, that are watching with me can share to these groups and i don't have to do it this way and i can get a better shot uh, closer to the a little bit closer to the start line the finish line and uh, if that if that if you guys feel that'd be better i'd be happy to do that I'm, I'm not able to zoom this in at this moment i don't know if they even have if they even have a zoom option available in this app i can't find it and I'd like to be closer to the start line and the finish line so we can read the scoreboards better. So let me know. And if, if, that, if we do that, if a few of you, or at least one or two of the friends of mine that are in those two groups, the uh, Nitro Heads and the, the Fuel Alter Connection, uh, even if my if they're in my IFRA site too, that's my original Facebook page from 2009, a friend of mine that me developed back in that time. Uh, if you're a friend of me on that too, you can share it to that group. 
I appreciate that. Uh, right now we're going to have Pro Mod, and after Pro Mod, we're going to have first round of uh, either Funny Car or Top Fuel. Depends on how they switch it around, and we might see we might see two alters this first round too, I believe. So anyway, I appreciate all that, and uh, I'm going to go quiet so you can listen to it. some more to Bob Beck, the Arundels announcer. Turbocharged car there in Pro Mod. That's why you couldn't hear a thing. Those guys lost the belt right at the right at the step. Right when they stepped on it. Well, we're concerned there was an oil down earlier that we might be delayed. It may be delayed. I don't know what time it is, but uh, we had to clean that up. So it might have pushed things ahead a little. version of Toothless from uh, Train Your Dragon. Looks just like Toothless if it became a pro mod.
Hey guys, they're going to drag and hit the track prep, a little bit of scuffing, a little bit of more rubbering. Again, I'll, I was, uh, I'd like to ask you if, uh, if you'd like, I could go back to my regular Facebook page where I can at least zoom once to get a little bit closer everywhere. There's no zoom set on this at all that I can find, so it looks pretty dang far away to me. And if you'd like, I'll, I'll go back to my page and broadcast from there for uh, tonight, let me know if I if I can get on there. I'll read some comments. And uh, but the thing is, if, uh, if any of you are in the Nitro Heads or the Global uh, Alter Connection, if you're friends of mine, if you'd share to that group when I do that, then I don't have to use this app, or I can share across several different groups, and that that'll get everybody. Uh, able to watch it through the groups because I, I don't expect to get you know hundreds of friend requests just to watch this so it'd be easier to, to share it across groups if uh, if you're able to that'd be great but let me know in the comments again and i'll scan through there after this is over and and uh and i'll most likely just go back to my page i like I said i don't like this it looks too doggone far away so the back in the background it's back when he's giving uh, they're having a friendly conversation about different things so I'll be back here in a few minutes when we get ready to cap on the first pair. Top fuel eliminator, session number two on the pad. Got the couch making play into the booth here. And you see you were out and about, and uh, this promises to be pretty spectacular. Temperature down about 10 degrees from what it was yesterday. And, uh, well, I'm looking forward to seeing this. How about you? Well, you know, when the temperature drops, the horsepower rises and the track gets cooler. And so there's a good fight out there. The uh, first pair comes to life here is Michael Anderson. Well, that wasn't long. He's a huge top fuel guy from Texas. And Brian Hall, the snowman. <laughs> Brian. Nice burn out by Brian Hall. Michael Anderson. This is Michael's car. Good in the class. All the way out here from Texas. I believe he's got a big block Chevy, I believe. There we go. Early. 
Let's hope that's just smoke, pissing smoke, and out of oil. Let's see if the guy on the track, uh, if he gives us an okay. We're going to wait until we see what he says. He's out there scuffing away with his tennis shoes. Shane Stewart, his top field debut on the bump. Well, uh, Brian Hall, Frank, it looked like uh, the final hour was down because that baby was uh, putting out some smoke, using up some pistons down there. Absolutely. So the next pair rolling right up. So it counts. Yeah, Brian Hall, Frank, it looked like the final hour was down because that baby was putting out some smoke, using up some pistons down there. Still waiting to see if they're good. Well, now, yeah. Yep. I don't see no truck pulling out or nothing. He's checking. Still looking at it. One of two things will happen. They'll fire him up behind us before he even gets off, so we'll know, or... He'll hop the rail, then they'll do it. We'll see what happens. Beautiful looking car, and uh, he's looking to improve out here. Yeah, Brendan always there. John Brewer, former Yankees, he's on Brendan's car down there, and it's a big help to have somebody come along and step in like John Brewer and help you out because it gives you another set of eyes. They're giving him a push at the top end, but uh, other than that, I don't see any sweet trucks coming out yet. No, those awful not. He's looking, he's looking down track to see what's going on. Maybe he dribbled a little bit down there at the shutoff. Maybe that's what they're doing down there. Let's see what happens. The bumps are lazy. 662. We should see a 580. High 580 bump for the car. Top fuel cars. Number one, number three. Oh, car is round three. Uh, qualifying's coming up. They race the first round tonight. I believe Top Fuel has another round of qualifying. They have an eight-car show, so they'll start tomorrow with their first round, from what I'm hearing. A few altered should make at least one pass today, if not two. Okay, they pulled those guys off the top end. I'm going to spin it around. Back to Tom Buell, I'm going to say everything's okay. White bottle 426. What is the fuel in Tom Buell? But yet in funny car, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Sean Bowen over there, the early style. Brad Anderson having for that team the 392 style car. Shut it off. You'll be six, six, zero. 
147. 147. I can see that. Purchase for Tyler. That thing, that car can, you know, that thing can thump. Good thing Tony made a deal. You know, that that was, uh, I don't know what kind of deal, but that's that was a nice car. He uh, he beat everybody up with that for a couple of years there, back around 18, 19, somewhere in there. Back to my old videos at 17, 18, or 19, and I've got him. I've seen him think he ran 550s with, uh, with that car, 260. Pretty stout car. Very talented driver, Nancy Drive, walking around with these guys in there. Her good friend. It almost says she looks like a fish out of the water. Yeah, we missed Mandy from behind the wheel. No oh, doubt, drive them. There you go. There you go. Two fifty-five feet, guys. Who goes to the number one spot? Tyler Hill goes five sixty-nine three. Shut it off. Shut it off. Yeah, he was off early. Awesome for him. Awesome for Tyler. Nice pass, Tyler. Top fuel dragster, Pete Geyser, 5660. All right, Pete. That's just a nice daytime pass, tune up for the daytime. That ought to hold up for a, a few rounds as far as goal eliminations. Tyler Hill has picked up nine qualifying points. However, there are still a ton of cars in run, including the guy that's sitting in the number one spot. Brad Williamson has not run this session. Yesterday, Dan 
that they did the uh, qualifying pool like they do in funny car they take a bet on uh, who's going to be what's the low ct the bump spot i mean for uh, funny car and, uh, right you have to go down to the hundredth or the thousands because it gets pretty close a lot of people get in Corey? Somebody in the top field needs to do that. Corey, Corey Max out. Yeah, we were able to overlay that on some other runs that we've made in the past. And I think we're going to have to do another one of those. I mean, the bubble is fun. That is what it is. We've got to go out and run a 7. You're a dragster guy, but you look like you're having a lot of fun driving this funny car. You know, I'm just now getting comfortable, so to speak. Before I was center line wall, center line wall, I'm like, okay, I'm taking up a lot of real estate, so I'm going to get my stuff together. But really having Glenn being a funny car for so long has helped me a lot. Hey, Corey, you sound like you're talking about your Volkswagen days there. Well, it's not the only flopper I've ever driven. It's a, you know, 600 horsepower VW. It's very different. I'm enjoying it. I sit down there and everybody runs through the stuff. like, can I get a picture, Chris? Yeah. Well, we... We're glad you're back. We're glad you're here in the funny car. And we wish you luck the rest of the day. And uh, go get them, buddy. I appreciate all the well wishes. It was really tough to watch it on TV last week and not be in Texas car. But Kevin did a great job. Got a couple rounds and he got all my functions in for me. I'm a happy guy. There you all go. Matters. All right, Corey McClendon. Glad to have you part of the NHRA here. Yeah, yeah. Tremendous yeah. bunch of shades, Stuart. Bill Wachowski. The small block Chevrolet. Off the island in Victoria, British Columbia. As I said yesterday, they put that car and trailer and truck and everything on a ferry and bring it over to the mainland to come down here and race. Shane Stewart, Donnie, 
That car is a world traveler. Was built here, was bought by some people in Australia, went to Australia. Shane is from Australia. Shane went down there and got that car and brought it back here. And now it's a top fuel eliminator. So that car's got the airline bonus point mile. Yes, it does. Of course, Shane's wife was out there, part of that California hop rod reunion, Halloween costume contest. Oh, there's a few up going down the other side of the track there. Yeah, I see them. Yep. Wonder Woman. I see Wonder Woman or something. That's Celia yeah. Green, by the way. Oh, okay. Yep. So here we go. Two cars get not in that field. 6094, the bump bump. Celebrity sighting, John Brand. Here we go. Number five, eighty-five. Here we go. Two hundred fifty-eight. Another eighty pass. Bill Wiskowski, the small block Chevrolet, six eighty-nine two. Shane up to the number five spot, and the guy who is number one in the points, Brett Williamson, is on the bump spot. Yeah. We got one. In Oh, that ain't going to last long. He'll come off of that. This Stewart to the number five spot with top speed of the beat at 258 miles an hour. Nice, nice, so nice run. Safari rolling down there. So Cal Speed Shop takes the Safari. We'll find oh. out which car it is and get word on the condition of the car. Somebody went in the sand trap. I just, I must have missed that when I was, see all the big poof down there. You can see all the dirt they went off the track. So one of one of the other. You can so see it. Shane Stewart, that Shane. great effort there. Five eighty five four two fifty eight, and it went into the beach down there. And uh, going to see outstanding SoCal Saints this morning here, rolling to that car and drive couch. We have a special guest. Hey, I got. Uh, an honoree here, Dave Settles. Uh, we were at the ceremony last night. Hey, good deal. Dave Settles. Your achievement to be an honoree here at the race. We're gonna... yeah, I had a great time. I really did. Well, you've done a lot for the sport. And, uh, we were glad to see you get up there. Uh, last night, even though Bob Beck forgot who you were. Well, like I told him, I'm easily forgettable. How are you enjoying these nostalgia races out here? It is very impressive. I've seen them they're running five sixties with these top kill cars. I'm sure somebody will dip into the fifties. And I remember driving up top kill cars when we couldn't run that quick with the big tires and, and, and everything else that goes along with the water and everything. So because I got small tire and of course these engines and heads have evolved and blowers and everything. But it was a skill system. But uh, we're uh, excited to have you here. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and uh, stick around. We'll uh, talk at you a little later. Okay, well thanks for the uh, hospitality and uh, hopefully see you shortly. Yep, you will. We're here. Uncle Davey, ladies and gentlemen. Dave Settles, one of the great honorees here at the 30th Annual California Hot Rod Reunion. Very well deserved. My hero. My first. Okay, word is from the top end, you need a tow truck down there for that Sullivan Stewart car. A tow truck to the top. That means it's too bent up to get it out of there. Doggone it. Hopefully it's repairable, front halfable, or what have you. It'll be another 10 right, minutes, maybe, bits, while they bit. get that out of the dirt. Uh, one of the calls I'd love to make, Donnie Cows, double A fuel alter to the lights, please. Double A fuel alter to the lights, please. I'm going to go ahead and spin around. Uh, fuel is exciting. Where do those fuel alters get up here? And uh, hang out here at the start so line. Top end of the track with everybody. Stewart is out of the car and walking around. Okay, good. 
Shane's probably just We're probably not gonna repeat upset that, that yeah, that exactly. He's probably upset very, about very that. Cars. What even the number five spot done with work that they need a tow truck to stop in to pull them out of the sand trap? Uh, I have a feeling that may be a losing dust on the couch. Well, you know, the sand's pretty deep down there going that speed. And, uh, first of all, the tank gets into everything and the fuel system and the fuel tank. So everything has got to be gutted. The motor's got to be gone through. Hopefully the chassis is not damaged. Well, you know, she's just pretty good with the welder. It's only about three hours away from here. They might move that baby to jump. Well, there's guys around here that can fix it, too. Yeah, where there's a will, there's a way. The yeah. drag racers don't give up. Not at all. Not at all. So, right now, sitting atop the field, these guys are standing around here. Here's Digger Dan Tribute Card in the late race. Dan Horan Sr., his dad, at 5660. Chase Stewart was 258.57. There was a late parachute on there, and uh, unfortunately, it, you know, it's a long shutdown here for most of the drag trip. But when you run 258 miles an hour, and you got in the parachute, it's uh, that long shutdown short and tough. Yeah, you better be on your game. Fortunately, he's okay, and he'll be back. The car can always be repaired. And, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure we'll see that car this afternoon, but we might, no. see, might see it tomorrow. You might see it tomorrow. We'll walk yeah. down after the session, take a look and see. So on the pad right now, is there getting it cleared down there at the top end? Greg McBee Jr., see? He's coming up here in that big local to see me clearly, the team out of Madeira. It's the champion speed shop special. Adam Soroka, who still has a chance for that top fuel title. Well, they got their car running pretty good. Yes, they do. Number two qualifier, I believe, yesterday. Yep, Jake. Number three Dallas. They got bumped back one. 575.7. And that small block Chevrolet. Yeah, you uh, you give Bob McClendon time to figure that out. And then uh, he's happy with the chassis now. Now he can concentrate just on the motor. And they better watch yeah, out. Yeah, it, it's interesting how they built a brand new car. And we're happy with it. They went back to the car that was 2009, took the two cars, put them together, and came up with one car. It seems to be working pretty well. They put that stunning black body on it. Yeah, no, it looks wow. good. Like I say, now that they've got all the problems solved with the chassis, all they have to do is focus on that clutch and that motor. And uh, Bobby McClendon, he's an ace at that. Yeah, see, a driver isn't too bad either. By the way, Got to give a shout out. Adam's wife, Jenny, in the house this weekend. Glad to have her here. Yeah, we don't see her too often. It was a real pleasure to see her. Yesterday I saw her, and hopefully we'll see her today. For sure. Glad to have her here. Of course, Frank McBee Jr., the team down here just up that 99 highway. Very good one. Got that handy apple red paint job, and this is the car that was built for top fuel living here, today. Just like that, fired him up, so here we go. Put down, Frank I think McGee he ran a 75 yesterday. With a bump spot at 599. Yeah, we Steve Kaiser. We got a chance to go. Down. We need to get in the 80s, high 80s, 88. Oh, maybe a little lower, maybe an 86. <laughs> Up there, they're all running that well. It's got nice weather, nice track conditions. Right with me coming back here in that big little Adam Zeroke in his green white Chevrolet. Nice cloud cover, make it nice and cool, make the track nice. Give it some more bite.
Bob's up there. Bob's going to win this one. The way from his car over there. Frank McBee Jr. wants to be part of that eight-car field. Come on, Adam. Adam. But yeah, it's running nice. Not a puff out of it. It's running really nice. Sounds good. Clean all the way through. It's getting a quad out to push somebody off. Yeah, that was a small block. Good old small block for Adam. 5.99. We need another tenth. Bumped it off. We got we got the next uh, next round of qualifying still for them. All right, Murphy. Dusty Green. All right, Dusty. I have a feeling there's going to be backup things for Dusty. I think he's got a couple of them. All three of them. Okay. Dusty will be over there far side. Jim Murphy over here with that Dan Wilkinson tune-up. Nicky Bonifati in the house. The clutch groove. Yep, there he is. Of course, he's here to support his teammate, Bad Bynum. He's got the whole worship clan here, too, supporting Matt. He's debuting his funny car. Former Jim Head funny car. The one that's raced in 2013. Yeah, the bar to me with Chad Head driving him. Yeah. I don't know what we're waiting on. It looks clear. Yep. Down at the top end, I believe they're clear to turn out there. So, there was a mock up clutch deal. I've heard about that. There we go. Just got the word over the radio. Top end is clear. So, Jim Murphy, Dusty Green. Been a while since we've seen Dusty back part of the top fuel field. Yeah, well, he's, uh, everybody wants to be a part of the Hot Rod reunion. Yep, so they do. He's not going to miss this. His car comes to life. Jim Murphy's car also comes to life. Two very good quality cars that have not been quick enough to be part of the eight car field body. Murphy's down a 14 second run. Dusty Green, White Steel in the team, popping over the hole there with nothing but backup things in the front there. And, oh, Donnie Ward judges for that contest. It's going to be a little bit tough. The contest might be over right now. Yeah, I think it just ended. Probably not sure which way to go. They're probably all giving them different directions. <laughs> Jim Murphy's back up there. He's not going to get my vote today. He might get some. What's he? I mean, she looks like. California Hot Rod Halloween costume contest here. It's just a great deal to get thanks to Janet Thompson for putting it together. Celia Green and everybody over there. I'm not sure if that's Glad to hear Janet's back. Right. Back on Costco. Let's see how he does. Janet's going to be a little top draft there, too, right? Brad Thompson only killed it out of the good one. Just me and Jim Murphy and Ann Wilkins will walk away from this car. They're both free today. Sounds like my go-kart racing days. Off okay, off the track. Brad Williamson, 
number one in the point for the championship, and right now it's sitting number nine. <laughs> yeah. so You've got to get in on this one for the next for sure. For every young card, plenty of people are stepping up big time. That's not the problem. But, Johnny, as you well know, anything can happen out there. Yes, it can. So right now, Tyler Hill has picked up nine points in qualifying for top fuel Olympics. Fred Williamson, a car that's very capable of going to that top spot. Well, we're going to find out right now. Brett Williams is pulled into the box. He's going to do his burnout. Brett Williams is just a very talented driver, that whole family, you know. But uh, he builds them, drives them, shoots them. I've seen him drive a, an alcohol hydro. Drag boat races and a uh, very talented guy over there. Yeah, for sure. You drive a boat, you're fearless. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a very, very interesting run because, well, points make a world of difference. He came into the race with a two round lead, picked up seven points in qualifying yesterday, where Tyler Hill picked up ten points in qualifying. Tyler's got nine points so far. Every run is important for the championship. Attention to the pits, attention to the pits. A fuel to All the right, lane. Brad. A fuel to the lane. Let's do it. I can tell you right now, Tyler Hill wants to know what this car runs this run. Yeah, I'm sure he's watching. Who knows? Maybe he's watching on my feet. Is he? Usually his uh, grandfather does, John. If you're on, John. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a fun weekend, one way or the other. <laughs> Hard to shake bread, nothing bothers him. This is just a normal deal for him. Ever so critical for the champion. Here we go. Oh, dang. That wasn't planned either. Well, now it's getting interesting. Right in front of us, you saw that. Boy. Dang. Yeah. Not in the show. Not in the show. Boy, that was a bump. Boom. Picking up 12 points towards the championship. Just not getting the lead, but it tightens up that paddle yep. big time. Well, he's got to Going qualify still. Yeah. Still got to get in the show. He was, that was unexpected. He just jumped out. You saw him right by the Carrillo board right, there. Right. Under the LLO. He hopped out. Checking up the track right now. Brian? What's going on with you? You've made a pretty decent run out there. Are you happy with that? Well, we're, we're going to go out, you know, reach it and be able to be with us this weekend. So we're going to go out and try to put that thing in the number one spot for us and uh, do our best for Rich. He's uh, be on the phone quite a bit, checking on his car. It's, it's very strange. I don't think that car's ever ran without Rich Guapco. No, it, it's, it's a lot different without him being here and keeping us all straight. But... The track's probably okay. They're just making sure Brett's a funny car is up next. We'll hang here for a minute to see how everything goes down there. Rich Guasco just up in the tower with uh, Donnie. As hard as he's tried, he can't retire. This is Dad Ron's final race. Behind the wheel of the rat trap. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, oh, excuse me, it's Ron. Years. Sorry. Been a good run. I was thinking you said. Uh, yeah, well, a lot of history there. Yeah. Car. Great career. We're invited to Ron's Christmas party. We're going to go to that. Yeah, we'll we're live. Gonna, uh, do some. We're going to race each other this afternoon. I'm going to beat him on my 
<laughs> oh, this is this is Brian. We'll be <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Anyway, we're invited to that. We're gonna do some tackles from that when they do, they have in December. We're uh, honored to be invited to the party. We started. My son Michael. Driving last weekend, he made his first two runs. He yeah. had a, uh, the next generation grand travel turn, then we're going to run 7-0 Mackey. And uh, so Michael's getting started. He's a crew member on Hilton's car. So uh, we're, we got a lot for the old man to do. He just won't be pushing the head. Oh, there you go. Well, uh, yeah, we wish you luck and have a great run. That was Brian, excuse me. I, I was thinking it was cool deal. So maybe there's a little something down there. They're they're doing something. Are you ready for the, your challenge? Yes, sir. Are you? Great teachers and great uh, step into some good cars and good equipment. So it'll be exciting for you. How old are you? 23. Excited about that. You're, you're gonna go to a lower class first, and then seven zero, and then work our way into other classes. I was gonna say that car's gonna have yeah. nitroid at the first point camp. Yeah. Come on. Well, maybe maybe they put some oil. Yeah, in. yeah maybe it hurt the motor after all. Maybe it just didn't wasn't a valve frame. So Michael, two three runs, you'll be comfortable, right? Yeah. With I'm going to sit down first. You guys see the traction glue quad, too. Fun interview with the Popes. Popes. So unfortunately, Bowie, there they did not need Donnie Thompson. That championship run in Top Hill Eliminator is number two of Nitro Funny Car. Session number three, my apologies. Well, I saw on Brett Williams' run a big puff of smoke on the left hand side of the motor, and then we saw a big flash of fire. So it came off early. And, uh, I know they're disappointed with that run, but they'll be back. Shot at it. They want that championship back. Tyler Hill, Dad, Bobby, and Grandma, Grandpa, Jim, and Allison Play want that championship going to happen. No great expectation. What a story! What a story they have buying that car at the last minute, bringing it out here. They did some testing along the way. down very long, folks, so don't go too far. We've got funny car coming up next. We already see the problem child matched up against the capital punishment car, Tony Gerardo. And, uh, the only one set number four in 5723 with that problem child. Tony number eight in 5923 with the capital punishment car. Mike, the problem is we've got funny cars backed up to the 99 freeway to try to get up here and get in this show. That's like standard. Right? You know, they don't go to the 99 freeway, they don't have enough cars. Yeah. And then right after funny car, you all dude. All right, attention to the pits, attention to the pits. A fuel, you should be in the lanes. A fuel, you should be in the lanes. Junior fuel, need you the lights, please. Junior fuel, need you the lights, please.
Johnny Couch is the best you put the country down there for the SoCal speech. I'm saying he's probably won't be long. We're going to be rock and rolling right along. Session number three to set the 16 car deal in Nitro Flex Car. First round tonight. Oh, you mean this spot? Yeah, it's going to be cooler. Track and distance are perfect. Of course, we've got the best spare track in the country out here. they got all the right equipment. All a good crew, and uh, a lot of people love to come here and race. Even the big show guys come and test here all the time because they know the track is consistently good. SoCal Speed Shop Safety Smart Teams. Down to two trucks down there, Donnie. It's all down the shutdown area, pretty much there. So the racing service is always, it's 110% here, and it won't change. Yeah, it looks like they're in their final stages of cleanup down there, and uh, we'll be underway with the funny car. We got any friends in Elko, Nevada, watching the show? Should be home in Elko, Nevada. They should be here. They should be here. Yep. All roads lead to the Like they, they with an oil pump. looks like yeah. they turned around. They're looking good over there, and they got big spots. So turned off the track, I mean. Well, when your car runs like that, one, that that's all right. right. Go yeah. back to the start yeah. line, two captain there. there. Yep. Oh, oh man, they come right alive! There they are. So Billy Morris, Billy, set number four, Let's five go. seventy-two three, ready, Doc. Yeah, Rick Morris is a bunch. Guys. The problem child. For the lower shop, poor going. Well, this up there. He will come up here that let Nicolo Bolton, CD Carell away. And Tony Gerardo on the bump at 592 3 with that capital punishment. Oh, a little tiny burn out there. Yesterday, 592 3, only 223 miles an hour. The car that is dipped down into the very Becky wall, out there. Pushing the butterflies the back a little for Billy. Tony's got a new crew over there this weekend, and they're all doing a good job. And everybody happy Amy, over back there. at Billy. Good time, and that's most important for Tony Gerardo. Absolutely. Of course, the glass contractor looks up there and it. it is with glass and big building. Real big building. Well, back up, they part of that contest out for the Yeah, I'm trying to they got two of them out there. Come 
on, Billy. Make it bump it down a few. If not, make it still a safe, good pass for the daytime. Running 70s in the so day is no down, easy deal. One of the first, the buddy car with the pedal clutch. For Billy Morrison, David Eddie Dox looking over his car. Stage and Tony Gerardo, the more traditional clutch, that capital punch. Tony's car. in for the first ball. Billy coming up. Here comes Billy. Here we go, they're both free stage. Most of the RPMs are coming up on that throttle. See if I can fall and get some glare on the screen. And... All right, Billy, yeah, there we go. 257, yeah. Nice one for Geraro, too. Nice pass, both of them. Two, Gerardo was stumping too. Look at that. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Nice passes. First one, first pair out. Let's see what happens with the rest. If it's that good, there, those guys that can be just as good, if not better, for the rest of them. Looks like they made it off just fine. I'm going to spin it back around here. Again, you guys, let me know what you think about me jumping on to the regular Facebook and about sharing any of your things. I'll check after the race for your comments, but that'll probably be a lot to a better view once I go back to the regular Facebook. I at least get to adjust it once, which I can't do now to pull them in closer. So let me know. I appreciate it. Bill with the Shane Down Firebird, brand new car for Bill. <laughs> Behind the wheel of the Bubba Pacemaker. All right, Bill. Let's Fiber. get it. Get from Oh, you had to back out a little bit. That was a nice pass. Probably an 80. Yep. Yep. He had more in it. He had more in it. Yeah. Bill Wyndham car as a group runs down to their truck to go pick them up. They'll be yeah. happy with that run. Heck yeah. Absolutely. He ends up into that number nine spot. No one was going 214 miles an hour. Yeah. He saw that motor go dead down there. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Jeff Bonin. All Matt right. Bynum come up. Yeah, here we go. This could be. A, this will be a good pair too. Both Johnny those guys can all bud. Pretty stunning, isn't it, Johnny Cowan? Uh, just beautiful. Just a beautiful car. Former Jim Head car. The Chad Head drove to a victory here at the Marshall. 2013. Yeah, it's been a while. The car's been sitting ever since. They just Jeff got it out of the mothball. Yeah, right out of the mothball. Just like that. Jeff Lodi. Then got it in the car 
plenty of money for Steve out of Buena Park, a guy that builds homes. Oh, his work, his fabrication work, is incredible. So get a boat and sell that car. Of course, both of these cars, paint jobs designed by Kenny Youngblood, one of the best. Absolutely. You know, he is the best. He is the best. So that might have, of course, his weekday job. Car chief for Alexis Tejoria. Yeah, then he's got the... Uh, the worship family out here supporting them. Nikki Bonaponte sticking down there on the starting line. Chuck Worship helping out. See Chuck Kent down there. All right, Matt. Let's get it. Come on, Jeff. Keeps tune up to good use you know, on this Matt pass. Matt Bynum, great day. Matt has gone 592 for the 11th spot. Jeff Bodie, 669, fit number 16. Oh, he can run quicker than that. He can run down in the 70s. Even in 60s. Here we go. Yeah. What happened? The shoot came out. Ooh, 82 for Matt. There we go. Jeff Bodice was side by side. Yeah, whatever happened that there. Pop that parachute out. Jeff, Maybe Jeff it wasn't supposed to. Gets off that bump spot up to the 14. Nice that pass, Matt. The bottom of quick half of the field. 582, 5238. Okay, they made it off okay. A little puff. But they still made it off. Give me an idea. Jeff Bodice was over 200. Miles an hour at the eight miles. On the gate, great. Hey, all my friends sitting in the grandstands on the pit side here, I just want to give you a quick invitation. If you'd like to walk around the tower, behind the tower, behind the Nicolo Pulcho side here, the quarter mile courtyard over on the other side of the track there is open. You're welcome to walk over there, have a great seat there. Walk up to that blue wall there and see what it's like to have what he's great Dyko Garden. Do a burnout. Right in your face, Donnie. Right? Might even blow. Also, Tim Boychuk not going to make this uh, Q3. Decided out to run this session. Tim Boychuk sitting in the number two spot, 568.4. Just said, you know what? I'm going to send it out round number one later on today. He's up there with his daughter, Angelina, who is going to get fitted for that funny car and driving it soon. And his son-in-law, Cameron. Cameron Bray, absolutely. So Jeff Butterback and Bobby Cottrell come up. Bobby, your national champion again. Bucky's Auto Fair and Northwest Chevrolet, Benchmark RV. They can get the pat on that car there. Michael Bryant walks up here, Jeanette down there, Bucky out in front of his driver. Frustrating. You warm the car up in the pit. You set all your yeah, back. Not back set everything where it's supposed to be, and you come out, and something else They're just doesn't work Bobby right. On a single run. Very frustrating. It's unfortunately, I got his van services car. You know if they're waiting for Jeff to get out or not. Not sure what happened to that. He's kind of the new car blues, unfortunately. Bobby, I'm going to pickle right here. Five, six, 
seven, nine, number one. The green car just to show off. For a daytime, daytime tune-up pass. Tune up, Buggy. From the field in another nice championship run. Holy. Jeff Butterback down there had a great side seat for that baby. So he wanted to be alongside of a man on me to tell you. 559 5 261. Holy cow. Top speed. Low in the field. He has to say it. He has to. Mike has to say cow, but I can say crap. Holy crap. <laughs> or even a few others, but, but yeah, that was a great pass. Mike, Ken, Jeanette, Oh, I didn't. By the way, Donnie, Rachel says it's race day down in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, you were too late. Sorry. Sunday morning down under. Feels like Sunday morning here. Yeah. So now, the boys just from Northern California and one of the best drivers in the business. James Day, who just had a couple yesterday and uh, wounded that baby big time like to get himself in the field now for sure. Of course, Drew Austin, James Gap passed the bunch there. This is that number nine spot of 589. If anybody could match car. Bobby and it's Bucky, it could get the Drews, the Austins, they can, they could, that car can run. They ran a 54 here uh, last year, March meeting year, at the end of the last year at the, here at the reunion. They, they got that uh, well, it's actual Ford, Ford motor what to try and made after yeah. the old shotgun Hemi. Now trying to get, they, they, get uh, way had, that was outlawed for quite a while. Oh, they were able to bring out. it back here in the Stouch Plenty car. They opened it up, let them bring it in, and uh, they let's not forget Grand Paul Walwell. It hauls, but they're watching his son and grandson here. You know, he'll be on the, this car, doesn't look good. He'll be on the phone. By the way, if you uh can't see where you're going because you want the air glassing. I have the tower here. So quad out there in front of uh, Jeff Butterback going to push him off the track here in a second. Continue on the qualifying. While it's down for a few minutes, I'm going to share a little bit of history about the, the shotgun motor and uh, how it indirectly uh, ben, uh, was modeled. It was the Brad Anderson head, as I recall, was uh, modeled after that to some degree. I used to hang out in the shop with Leroy uh, Chatterton and Brad Anderson would come in and they conspired to build the flathead motor and they hit, and Glidden was always on. Uh, Leroy was on the phone with Glidden all the time, so they didn't infringe upon the uh, the shotgun motor head because they had to have the valves at a different angle than the shotgun, but it was a similar deal. So, and it had a smaller chamber, 
for the alcohol guys so they could use a, a lighter piston, which enabled the, the uh, fathead motor to rev up quicker because it wasn't so there wasn't so much weight on the piston and, and the, the whole bob weight assembly, with, which is a bunch of technical junk. But uh, I was there when they developed that back in that day. I used to hang out in the shop and he's drop and they'd always yep, joke me, don't you tell anybody, like, yeah, who's going to listen to me? But uh, be around their shop. It was in the mid to late 80s when uh, that was designed. And I remember uh, all the conversations that Charity would have with Glidden on the phone. Like, Who are you talking to today? I'm back on talking with, with Glidden. Make sure we get the, you know, the cylinder head designed right. And there's, a, there's your little bit of an right. obscure history Thanks, lesson on the fat head, how it compared to the shotgun motor. So I'm sure these guys. Shotgun motor and the Austin's car is probably right right after the regular shotgun. Hemi, the Ford design. That was that's probably quite a bit better uh, design for what they're doing with the supercharged alcohol stuff. Well, they don't have to have the huge dome piston in there. They use it in the injected nitro cars a lot. Less pistol weight, more bottom and more torque off the line. Drew his burnout, of course, Jack passed down down there. First man ever, the first racer ever. Top one in the NHRA, National Events with his top down call funny car, and top fuel, fastest build, the only guy ever to do the dumb one. Win in a sportsman category and a professional category. Easy pass. Speed was there though, 250. Now James hurt some pistons in it, but it, uh, they're in there. Yeah. Whew. That's good. That's kind of good. They have to race number one, so they, they might want to move off of that spot. Try to get in the top half of the field. They certainly don't want to go lower, slower. All righty. Shaping up. Shaping up. Corey Lee, Dan Arrange Jr. Very speed shop. Infinity Plumbing Sky Con for Dan Rand. Fastest buddy car. <laughs> All right, Dan. Come on, Corey. Corey Lee, six lap forward, number 13. Dan Horan, number five, is five, seven, zero, eight. Of course, Bobby Contrell, top speed of the meet with that 559 run, 261.27. Miles an hour. Johnny Page off another one. Kenny Young one designed Page off. Corey Lee over there at Gary Turner. That's one of the most beautiful cars out there. Of course, Dan 
Duran, Nick Camaro over here, former national champion. Dan's pretty pumped up as his drag through this number one. Yeah. And he wants to put this money car in the number one spot. That would be that neat. Point, a car that has dipped down into the 550s before. He's very really short. Short. Yeah, very short list of funny cars. His drag through driver, Pete Kaiser, now turned crew chief with the funny car run. Some rim pre stage. Price. At least Corey got in. That was a nice, nice pass. You know, we're gonna have to change a couple pistons probably.
Dennis Square, Jim Walker, away from Jerry Youngward here. Chris Davis rolls up over there. Bill Walter, on the pad. Here we go. Chris has got to bring it in. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pull this off, you guys, and plug my charger in, so excuse the uh, pumping around for a minute, just in case we need it. I don't know if I need it or not. Yeah, that's going to be exciting i got to catch my breath here. All right. Got it plugged in just in case I need it. I don't know what's going to, going to drag the track again, so we'll see. See what happens, but I want to get plugged in and just in case we're getting low. It's, you know, been on for a while.
Going down the track here, the big uh, low vulture seat in the corner lane. What that does is there's a drag behind it. Water is absolutely very cool. It's going to change the location. So Kevin got mentioned. Good for him and Brian. Been hanging out there behind the scenes. Had dinner with them last night. Chernobyl. Family is just out. They got an altered 7 0 Pro. They got the double A fuel altered. 
Coast West. They got a they got a boldly race cards over there out of Las Vegas today for West Coast Fabrication. Oh, he got back just in time, Donnie Couch, double A deal longer. I wasn't gonna miss this. Not at all. Johnny West, the guy is just a Hall of Fame career over there far side down the three way Chevrolet Lane. James Gerardo Jr. That family that is just had a second ago before you walk back at the tower here. Gerardo's have a boatload of race cars. Do they really? Oh. They got the altered and small fight like number six, seven oh pro. Not the alcohol car. They're ready to run the double A field longer here. Junior and senior get together here. Then we're a family out. Yeah, great, great racing family though. For Johnny West, he makes a lot of parts and pieces for all these guys out here and at the big show. Yeah, the, the West Coast Fabric. West Coast Fabric. West Coast, yeah. yeah. Queens Creek, Arizona. Here we go. Jay Gerinalo Jr. Gonna be the first one to come rolling up here. The Beckelow Ultra Lane. Johnny West. That's one of the big ones for the few alters, the Boys United Fires, and of course this one and the March Street. All right, it's on fuel. Always in that plan A. Okay. I like following these guys around. Jeff Bennett's here with Pure Heaven. We ran that thing on and off. Quite a while, plus Jeff's own car, so the few alters are special time. First pair, double A, fuel alter. West, well, David, him and Winevsky, uh, Barbara Winevsky and, and Bill have a really nice group together down in Arizona. We'll see what they can do this year with the group that they can get to some more races. Both of them are pre-staged. All right, both pre-staged, Mike English. Here we go. There's that first pair. Yeah, that's what normal. That's what they're supposed to do, right? All right, Tom. The, uh, the up until James won, the defending Night Fire champ. Out of Boise. I love the drag racing, Mike. Oh, how I love the drag racing. Kyle Huff. By the way, Johnny Couch, I'll tell you in a second. After the Both the great families to hang, to hang. And the Geronals as well, right here. Kyle Huff, third generation driver here. Yeah, Dave Huff made that game legendary. Of course, he has risked all that. Dave Adams, a part of this. Collection. I don't know if you know that. There's now a top fuel dragster part of that Huff family over there. Well, they're serious racers. It looks like they're adding on to their uh, uh, agony. <laughs> their agony <of laughs> adding on to their, uh, their arsenal. Hey, we get some cloud cover. Symphony of the Red Dragon. Yeah, we're Washington. getting some cloud cover behind me. It's trying to cool off. We had a funny car for a while. Yes, he did. 
I went to it was with Dad to see Willie Boris back in the room. Chevys, but they ran back in the day. Ran 670s all the time with them. The picture I found of all three of them Jeff, Amos, and Leon, and all together at the back of the lanes, getting getting it back to the track, I believe. Get it back to the pit. Here we go. Making some there. power. Tom Padilla still sitting up there in that number one spot at 6 6. Making some it's power. Ryan Track's Holmes. cooling down. It's overcast. Oh, clouds coming in. Chuck Speed Shop, team. All and right, Dylan. Still in high school. Yeah, he's a great kid. I interviewed him yesterday, and uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him. Ryan Holt will be over there at the far side. The legendary car. Rich Kowalski and the team, pure hell. Rich Kowalski, for the first time, is not here this weekend, but uh, giving him his 
instructions by phone. Yep. Missing your ridge. Hope you're on the feed no, here. Uh-oh. That, that, that don't look good. No, he'll be down That don't look good. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, the text message from you know, the driver of that Napa Toyota and Ron Caps. Jeff, I agree 100%. It's Dylan Wanevsky. For the Chuck Speed Center over there in Arizona, Robert's Auto Service. How about that burnout for Pure Hell and Brian Owens? Dylan, just 18 years old now. He's got a runner up to the Orange Street a couple of years back. Lost wind standing down there watching her little boy. Well, got sister out in front of the car there. The backup thing. That's the little off the, for the White FC family. Blind hope over there. Joe Wasco out in front of dad's car here. Here Hills run fives before here. At Bakersfield, that thing can run. Now that it's cooled off, of course, we'll Johnny see. Couch, Johnny West, who just ran a little bit ago, helps out on this. Uh, Dylan Wynevsky. Yeah. Arizona neighbors there. He's a good man to have on your side. Yeah. Ryan Hope, part of that Hope Racing family, down the up in the next bear. It's not Michael. Make it his mark. Yeah. Start his career. And Brian Hope. Both of them pre staged. Set. Go. Here we go. Oh. Butter and pop him, but he made a pass. Delray got a 650 out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Miles an hour for Brian Hope in the team. He had the front wheels in the air. Yeah. I saw that. Nice wheelie. Right. trap is final race ever. After 25 years, well, he's had a great career, and he? We wish him well, whatever he's going to do. And I can sound like he's going to play with his grandson yeah. a little bit. Grandson Michael said, down here watching Grandpa. We've already, they've already got a car built for him, and he's starting to make his way. Randy Bradford, Bradford's family double A fuel author. Randy, down living All up right, in Randy. Washington, another one of those legendary cars. Remember, I know you remember. Bradford Crankshaw Service on yeah. Garden Grove Boulevard. Yes, on there. The late great Jester Bradford, who did so much, and this kid Randy carried on the tradition. Word goes out to fire up the next bear. Randy Bradford, Ron Hope, Johnny. How many times do you think these two guys have paired up? Hundreds. Here we go, the rat trap in the Michelob Ultra ZB Grumble Lane. Gonna do his burnout right now, folks. Tennessee, Randy Bradford. Rat traps in Bradford. Go back and 
50 years. Double A Walter Gray. David Kennedy, everybody. Hi, David. Yes. David. David Kennedy. <laughs> Jack's doing some intros down there. Word outs are done. Drivers are going to okay. come forward. Brian Two veterans. His son, Michael, down there at the side. Side by bed. side. They're going to wait for dad slash grandpa. Fair enough. This final race, Ron Hope. Like nothing better than Slot and Style. Walk the ball. Double A. Fuel Walter. The California Hot Rod Reade. Here we go. Whoa, right? <laughs> Randy he still runs a six after smoking the tires. That was awesome, Randy. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Glazes have been run to six. That was awesome. Uh, Randy, that thing's got some power behind it. All right. Rodney's up to good. Good to see them here, too. <laughs> nice pass, Randy. That was great. Try and watch in the, in the photo. I thought you were just going to shut it off. <laughs> Rosa Flournoy, your son is up next, and the car is fired, the Godzilla, and uh, we know you're looking on. Rosa sitting down here, that's Bob at the front yeah. seat. And we know Dad, Eddie Flournoy, is looking down from heaven. Man, that's my boy. Go get him, son. Absolutely. Diana Boy out front there in the team. Hot Rodney Mordoy comes up. God's Custom engine builder out of Carson. Yeah. All time favorite, man. A guy's nitro career is probably 50 years, Donnie Yes, 50 years. It's, uh, John Kemp was a top-field director. He drove it, and there was Dan and Eddie. He bought that uh, Jerry Brook buddy car. Yeah, and the Mustang. They raced it. Eddie's driven a lot. Uh, Rodney's just doing a great job with the fuel altar. He's driving it. He got uh, Camaro out here. A great family. And, uh, I love these guys. Bias out front there of Rodney. Mama down there in the Chevrolet truck watching her son there. Whole bunch. So cow floor boys. They have more fun than most teams out here, I can tell you that. They wore me out in an hour. Yeah. They are a great group. Love hanging out. Rodney will come up. Spinal car, double A fuel monster. Six fourteen six. Still sit number one. That's the guys. We're due back at four, I believe. For the Four or five, I posted it on there and I can't recall already. For the uh, first round of funny car, third there. round of top fuel, and I believe fuel all did again. Yeah, she's burnt pretty good. Kind of a checkout pass. Congratulations. Through the center line, 8-11-1-12. It did not. <laughs> That's right. All right, you guys. Man, that was awesome. Over here in the center line, Rodney pulls it back, does a joint, a single go, and it'll take the turn off out there to close out session number All right, one. You guys. Double A Fuel Walter. Donnie, quick reminder after the Cackle Fest tonight, Joe Walla in the stage. That's right, you guys. I'll be Rodney doing Joe Walla. So favorites. stay tuned. And if you like some music, rock music, music and guitar, I'm going to be doing that with uh, Joe tonight. Looking forward to it. We Under like that. Light. Hang out with Joe. So uh, we will see you back here in a little bit for our uh, next round. We'll see if they'll mention.